Welcome to the third International Congress on Engineering Sciences and Multidisciplinary Approaches, uh, Session 2. I am Yavuz Obut, PhD Assistant Professor in Yalova University, Faculty of Engineering, Department of Transportation Engineering. Uh, I am a civil engineering and uh, my uh, profession is uh, about uh, flexible or rigid payments or uh, some design about structural uh, approach. Uh, and uh, this, uh, today uh, I will give a presentation about structural design uh, and uh, fracture mechanic. My title is Evaluation of the Fracture Behavior of Asphalt Concrete Prepared in Field Using Semicircular Bending SCB Test. And here is my outline. Uh, there are four parts. Uh, first of all, I will give some information about my paper. Uh, is uh, in introduction section and the uh, experimental study will be presented. Afterwards, preparation of uh, SCB specimens and uh, fracture tests uh, will be given. Uh, later on, test results and evaluation uh, will discuss will be discussed uh, by me. And uh, last part, conclusions and recommendations uh, will be given by me. Uh, first of all, uh, I will give some information about asphalt crack. Uh, many uh, highway administration allocate significant annual budgets for the maintenance, repair and rehabilitation activities for the asphalt pavements. Cracks, uh, you can see here, uh, cracked asphalt. Uh, it is known as crocodile type asphalt uh, in uh, stress the pavement. And uh, it occurs sometimes at low temperatures. Uh, it develops daily and seasonally due to the environmental or mechanical effects caused by X-loads. X-loads uh, is uh, the type of the traffic loads and propagate over time and become an important type of distress in asphalt layers. Uh, this type of distress can significantly increase the maintenance and rehabilitation cost of payments. Uh, we know uh, this type of the uh, uh, LCCA, uh, uh, Life Cycle Cost Analysis. Therefore, investigation of crack initiation and propagation behavior for asphalt payments is becoming an important issue for many designers to consider. Uh, some experimental studies have been carried out in the past using different test specimens to investigate crack initiation and propagation behavior in hot mix asphalt. Uh, it is possible to divide the test specimen into three groups. First of all, uh, we can say the uh, concrete beams, a three or four point bending test on the beam. Uh, it is especially uh, is used by the concrete materials. And second one is uh, direct testing of disc shaped specimens. Uh, it is used uh, uh, especially in the metallic materials. And uh, later on, uh, first, uh, last part is semi-circular bending SCB test uh, in uh, flexible asphalt layer. You can see uh, here the spaceman, uh, the support roller and uh, CMOD gauge. We will discuss, uh, discuss it. Uh, CMOD gauge is crack mood open displacement uh, data uh, in the uh, spaceman uh, uh, for deflection measure. Uh, and uh, here is a notch. Uh, a notch is uh, cut in the lower middle side at the bottom uh, of the spaceman uh, to allow controlled crack development. A CB test in hot mix asphalt under the static loading conditions EN uh, 12697 uh, and H2TP 105, uh, this is, these are the standards of the asphalt layer, uh, have been published, which contain instructions on parameters such as loading ratio, specimen geometry, uh, support conditions, fracture toughness, and fracture energy. In this study, uh, the preliminary results of the experimental works carried out to determine the fracture behavior for asphalt pavement are discussed. In this context, coarse specimens, surface coarse type 1, you can see the core, a core. Uh, surface coarse type 1 uh, is uh, up and uh, the bottom one is the binder coarse. Cut from the field uh, were used to investigate crack initiation and propagation at low temperatures for asphalt 
payments. The fracture properties of the SCB were uh, determined by applying the banding procedure in accordance with H2 TP105. And uh, the experimental study, uh, there are four parts uh, to preparation of SCB specimen. Uh, first part is, the, uh, is about the core sample taken from the pavement. Uh, three core specimen with a diameter of 150 millimeters in accordance with uh, ASTM D5361 were cut from the asphalt road, which has been two years since its construction. Second part is about uh, slice, slices, uh, is to obtain uh, 15 millimeters thick slices from the surface course at the top of the course with a disc saw, uh, you can see the disc saw, uh, and uh, three, 115 uh, diameters and 50 uh, millimeters thick slices were cut from their axis and formed into six semi-circles. Third part is about the notch. You can see it here. Uh, 50 millimeters long and two millimeters thick notch. It was opened from the center points and the SCB uh, specimen were prepared for bending test. And last part is uh, about uh, uh, painting. In order to more clearly observe the crack initiation and propagation, one surface of the uh, SCV specimen was painted white. Fracture test. Uh, fracture test uh, is uh, applied by uh, the two options, static or dynamic. Uh, we used uh, the uh, static monotonic uh, test type. Monotonic uh, banding tests were carried out in the mechanical laboratory Korsa in Izmit, Kojeli, uh, by applying some changes on the Instron uh, 5982 test device. It has a 100 kN capacity and 0.16% uh, sensitivity. Uh, and during the bending test, load and displacement data were simultaneously transferred to the computer with Instron CMOD gauge. You can see the here CMOD gauge. And uh, it has 4 mm capacity and 0.003 millimeter sensitivity uh, and uh, it uh, attended to crack mode. Loading rate was kept constant as 0 0.5 uh, millimeters per minute uh, at all stages. Uh, CV specimens were tested after being conditioned for six hours at uh, minus 12 degrees Celsius in the air conditioning cabinet. Test results and evaluations. First of all, uh, we have to evaluate uh, uh, work of fracture to the standard H2 TP105 standard. Uh, you know, uh, work of fracture is about uh, under the curve of the uh, load and displacement uh, graph, and you can see the average of fracture plot of six SCV specimen uh, graph. Uh, we have uh, average equals uh, 3.82 Joule. Second part is about uh, fracture energy. Fracture energy is, uh, is uh, divided by WF uh, by uh, a, a ligament, ligament area. Ligament area uh, is the function of the uh, cross section of the SCB. For instance, RAT, specimen radius, notch length, specimen thickness, etc. And all of the uh, units units uh, are uh, the matter. And the third part is uh, about uh, determining stiffness. Stiffness is the slope, uh, is calculated as the slope of the linear uh, part of the ascending load, average load line displacement PU curve. Uh, the unit of measures for stiffness uh, is kilonewton per millimeter. And last part, uh, fracture toughness. Fracture uh, toughness has uh, more uh, notations, and you can see uh, on the slide. And results uh, of the SCB tests. Uh, I will not read uh, all of the data, but uh, some of the data is important. For instance, fracture toughness uh, is here, megapascal uh, times square root of matter. Uh, 
and uh, average of the sixth baseman is uh, 0 0.32 and coefficient of variation 8.9. Conclusions and recommendations. Uh, using gyrotory or Marshall compactor in the laboratory to produce a CV specimen in accordance with HTP 105 uh, for Hatmix as well is not always possible due to the economic reasons. It has been determined that fracture test can be applied with the course by cutting 150 mm diameter from the field in case of economic constraints for producing a CV specimen. And second one, as a result of experimental works, fracture energy, stiffness, fracture toughness, etc. Uh, uh, you could see the uh, last uh, slide, uh, so uh, I will not read. In a study in which a comprehensive review of fracture mechanics for a CV specimen in a hot mix asphalt was made, it was reported that the fracture toughness ranged from 0 0.7 uh, to 1.3 megapascal square root of matter. Sahan, uh, Biligri, uh, 2016. In this study, some of the reasons why the fracture toughness level remained below this level are presence of micro cracks uh, uh, due to the um, axolot and environmental effects uh, that occur with aging, fatigue, and environmental effects that the asphalt pavement is exposed to, exposed to uh, over time. Micro cracks formed at the aggregate bitumen interface due to the traffic effects accelerated crack propagation. And last one, uh, the study should be extended, uh, we recommend it, on the asphalt pavements produced with different maximum size of aggregate, airvoids, aggregate and binder types, temperature levels and different compaction techniques. It can be aimed to make a comparative analysis of the specimen produced in the laboratory and the field while determining the crack propagation rate under not only monotonic conditions but also cyclic, uh, dynamic uh, loading conditions. Uh, I would like to gratefully acknowledge the Kojeli Metropolitan Municipality for the support provided during the field application part of the study. And uh, I would also like uh, to uh, Gratefully acknowledge Korsa in uh, Kojeli uh, for the fracture tests uh, of SCV specimen into the experimental works. Uh, here uh, are my references, and we uh, I attended uh, the full paper uh, to the conference. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, if you have any question, uh, I would like to answer them. Thank you very much. Of course. Uh, is there any question? I think there is no questions. Thank you again. Thank you so much for your presentation. Thank you very much.